Welcome back. Is Las Vegas a seller's market? How is the housing inventory? Here with the answers is Harvey Blankfeld, and he is with Las Vegas Real Estate Now, who are sponsoring this segment. Welcome to the show, Harvey. Thanks for having me back, JC. Okay, talk to me about it. Housing inventory compared to activity. Talk to me about it. Okay, so when the pandemic started, the inventory is right around 6,000. I'm talking about single family homes, about 6,000 homes available in our market. It started to slip right at the beginning of the pandemic. And in this past uh, March and April, it was down to under 2,000, less than 2,000 homes available in our market. And then now we've gotten just over 3,000 homes recently. Uh, you can see uh, on the chart that it was very, very low. Now, the interesting thing about this chart is mm -hmm. if you look at the orange line, that's the activity. That's how many single family homes sold every month. Pretty consistent, right, yes, right yeah. in those 3,000. But you saw the inventory was high, then went really, really low, and now it's coming back. It's coming back. Is it back all the way? The answer to is it a seller's market is yes. It okay. still is, but not as feverish as it was just a few months ago. How long do you think it's going to be a seller's market? Well, I think it's going to be a while. Yeah. I, I think the demand is still going to be there, and I think that with that uh, creates, it creates the activity. You know, the laws of supply and demand dictate uh, pricing, mm -hmm. and the demand is going to be pretty consistent, I think. Now, before we went on the air, you and I were talking about uh, buyers waiving appraisals. Are they still doing this? Yeah, you know, one of the uh, impacts of the inventory issue was that buyers were waiving appraisals entirely. When they were doing their financing, they said to the lender, listen, I don't care what it appraises at, I'm paying the price I agreed to, so the seller will sell to me. Mm -hmm. And now they're doing, to a certain extent, but now they're capping it. They're saying, hey, I'll pay above the appraised value up to $10,000. Okay. What I want to tell sellers is this, as a listing agent, I want to tell sellers, if they're going to cap the top, I want you to put a, a minimum on the bottom. Mm, okay. Tell the buyer, listen, that's okay that I'll, I'll let you put a cap on top, but I want there to be a minimum on the bottom as well to protect me from this appraisal coming in so low and that's not a hammer transaction. G give me an example. So a house is selling, say, $100,000. Give right. me an example. Of okay, $100,000, the buyer uh, promises to pay over 10000 and it appraises at $85,000. Mm -hmm. So the buyer is now committed to paying ninety five dollars for that home. Okay. Okay. You're protecting yourself. They're protecting themselves. So, and with the, and what, and what the, uh, if it had come in at like 80 or 70, the seller wants to say to the buyer, listen, if it comes in much, much lower than that 10 gap, mm -hmm. I want you to know that you're committed to paying at least a certain amount of money. That's what I'm suggesting. You're so full of information. I love this. Someone's watching right now and they're planning on buying a home for the first time. Yeah. What's that one piece of advice you'd give them? You know, meet with a lender first and talk about your financial picture. Get a good idea of what you can afford. Go into the market knowing what your monthly expense is going to be, how much money you have in the bank, so that when you write those offers, you know you're going to get that home. <laughs> That's the important thing. You are describing, when my wife and I were looking for a house, we just started looking at homes. Let's do this, let's do that. And then we went to the bank, we're like, oh, yeah. let's dial it back a yeah, little bit. Yeah, and as a realtor, I don't want you looking at homes you can't afford. I'd love for you to buy something, but I don't want you looking at homes you can't afford. It's just going to be disappointing. And I also don't want you looking at homes that are so low in your spectrum mm -hmm. that you're just not happy with anything you see. I want you to fit into the right spectrum. I want you to find the homes that are just right for you. Awesome. Harvey, you're amazing. Appreciate you joining us oh, today. Thanks, JC. Thank you, Las Vegas Real Estate Now, for sponsoring this segment. For more information, call 702-203-1165 or find them online at lvrealestateradio.com. Rocky? Thank you.